Hello again, YouTube. This is the truth, man, giving you the truth on my smartphone, doggone it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Making this money myself. Self-employed. I don't have to get on YouTube, beg for super chats, and then become arrogant after the fact. Like some of these other people think they control in the space because they on there begging for super chats, got a few mics, know how to edit. I don't even know how to edit. If I did, a lot of these guys would definitely be in trouble. What Once I find out or I get me an editor, it's going to be a whole different level then. But I want to talk about slavery. I want to talk about, and, and a lot of the events that's been happening is because people don't realize that slavery exists and it exists strong in different categories, which I want to kind of go into some of these categories. I'm sure it's more than six types, but I want to entitle this six types of slavery that are going strong today. It's a reason why people are no longer being lynched. It's a reason why the ones that are appearing to be lynched is going on in the street, in neighborhoods, because you have a lot of people that are really slaves in their own mind. Slaves trying to fit in with others, all different types of slavery. I want to kind of go into some of them today. And that's what people need to understand. Like, you got to be free in your mind. Remember the song from In Vogue? Free your mind and the rest will follow. Be colorblind, don't be so shallow. See, that song was real, but a lot of people don't follow what she was basically saying, what they were basically saying in the song. Like, a lot of people are shallow. Like they're shallow, like they don't have their own style. Like they think they cool because somebody else called their style of dress and the way they wear their hair and their beard and everything cool because they're not really trendsetters. They don't set trends, see? And that all boils down to one thing, slavery. Slavery of the mind. See, the devil is just as busy right now, if not busier, than she was in the Garden of Eden. Now, I talk about these things like in terms of like I kind of preach at you a little bit, but but like hopefully one day we'll be able to get on a more personal level and be able to just kind of talk so on and so forth. But right now, you know, I know I'm helping people because people are subscribing to this channel. You know, and, and, you know, I can go into that's why I call it the all subjects channel. See, a lot of these guys and I ain't even in the business of trying to put people down, but they only got one dimension to the things they talk about. They can't talk about the Bible because they don't live for God. They don't know him like that. You know, so. They can't go into the Bible. They Some of them came going to politics, political talk. You know, and that's fine. You know, everybody has their own niche. My niche is I talk about everything. I talk about everything. You're not, I'm a preacher, but you're not finna throw me in the preacher's box. Listen, I'm not what you think a preacher should be. I'm not going to be a slave to your opinions. And that's, let's start. Let's let's get this going. Let's get this going. It might be a little echo because I got a couple cans in here. But y'all be all right. The first type of slavery that I want to mention is slavery to people's opinions. I don't give a F what you think. Can't you tell? I, I You know, I'm not like an inconsiderate person, but what you think of me it doesn't matter. You're not you're not going to make sorrow for me. You know, I'm a happy person. You're not going to change that. You can't change that. Women can't change that. Guys can't change that. Nobody can change that. The only person who really could is if the most high, like kind of lift his protection off me and lift his provision off me. Now I got a real concern, but my real concerns don't have to do 
with people. You know what I mean? Like, it's nothing against them. I pray for people all the time. It's just, I'm not a slave to people's opinions. And I had to write some stuff down. And I want to read some of it. This is what causes social awkwardness. When you care about what people think of you, you can't even relax. You can't even be yourself. You got to stop caring what people think about you. You got to stop fearing rejection. Let them reject you. They're evil. People are dualistic in nature. They're good and evil all in one. If they're going to reject you, just be yourself. Like, be, people going to reject you. Some people going to like you. Some people going to say you cool. Some people going to say, I can't stand him. So what? So what if they think you're cool? So what if they can't stand you? It doesn't matter. Just be yourself. Just enjoy your life. Enjoy the food you like. Enjoy the hobbies you like. Just enjoy your life. These people are not. Half of them ain't going to even be in heaven. Well, more than half of them ain't going to be in heaven. And that's the main thing you need to focus on is getting connected to the most high. What he thinks about you matters. What these people think, it don't matter. Let them have their little opinions. Everybody has one. So I, I, so I wrote some stuff down that the Most High was giving me revelation. This is what causes social awkwardness, caring about the opinions of others. There is no superior race. Some people have the military on their side, but that don't make them superior. All they can do at best is kill a person's body. They can't determine no factors of their soul. Especially if you get connected to God, like I'm telling you. This is what causes depression, etc. Like people caring what other people think. Stop caring. Stop caring. Start cutting people out of your life. Like if they don't, like if they want to disrespect you and they want to put you down and they want to be uh, your ops, your opponent, they got to go. They got to go. It don't matter who it is. Don't be connected too strong to any of these people. Everybody has evil within themselves. It's just for us to develop righteousness. The second type of slavery is religious slavery. Listen, listen, listen. Christianity, Islam, none of these religions of the world are 100% truth. Every, these religions will have people that make it to heaven that's in heaven right now, but ain't none of them like the bona fide religion. And they all prove it, whether it's their sinfulness, whether it's their uh, uh, violence or whatever they prove. The Bible says by their fruits, you will know them. There is no bona fide religion. In fact, I tell you all the time to just serve God apart from religions, apart from religious biases. Got to get back to the basics. Be one family of faith in God. So. But what do I mean by religious slavery? People be scared to play the lottery, scared to be seen at liquor stores, all this other stuff that don't have nothing to do with the law. Sin is the breaking of the law. The law. You have to learn what the law was because there's things that's been added. So you have to learn what the law is. And as you connect to God, then you start obeying them. You start keeping the sabbath because when you don't keep the sabbath now that's a sin like man i've committed it so i know like any like the commandments when you don't obey those commandments that's when you sin it and that's the only purpose of the law is to show you okay don't do this 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 how you're supposed to think this how you're supposed to that's the purpose of the law and the law will never be done away with any pastor that's telling you the law is done away with is a false prophet a real prophet is going to tell you the law. And, and, and at times I've preached this falsehood. The most I had to correct me on it. Like the, the law is there to show us how to live. That's the only purpose of it. And it'll never leave. The Bible says you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. What's this freedom? The freedom is... If the Most High didn't establish a law or a commandment, then you could do it. People be wanting to say you can't do this, can't do that. But then they celebrate Christmas. They do this. They do all these things. But then they tell you, you can't play Powerball or you can't go to the casino or you can't drink a beer. But yet they celebrate Christmas. That's graven images. 
So it's religious slavery. Don't let none of these preachers make you think. I don't care if you're not even saved yet. The Most High don't love them more than you. You just choosing to reject the Most High and you may suffer the consequences, but he don't love me or no other preacher more than you. He just so just and so holy and so righteous that you reject him, you losing out. So you going to basically suffer the consequence. But it's not because he don't love you. You don't love yourself enough to give yourself eternal security. How do you give yourself eternal security? By connecting to God and staying connected to him. That's the only eternal security it is. Paul can't change what eternal security is. So people be slaves to their religion. They be in bad marriages, worried about what the church going to say if they get divorced. Wife ain't giving them no sex. But then coming to church, acting spiritual, talking about keep people out of our business so she can hide and be like a witch in private. And you going along with that. That's religious slavery. Religious slavery, you, you letting your pastor control your life and your lifestyle. That's religious slavery. You slave to your religion. That's a form of slavery. The next one I want to mention. Okay, let me wait. Let me just read something that I wrote. Let me read something that I wrote. Fearing of church people's opinions, religious slavery. Y'all you, can't tell me nothing. And be careful when you try, because I'm not going to show you no pity I'm not, like I say, I'm not in the, the, the business of trying to tear people's religion down and they fade down. They can believe what they want. It's their own will, their own soul. But when you start coming at me like your way is the truth, be ready. Be ready because I've studied this. So just kind of be careful with that. So I said, I wrote this down. Fearing of church people's opinions. No one is without sin. People are enslaved to religion. This is why men are forcing marriage to what the Bible calls strange women. If you're not like Sarah, you're a strange woman. And I always go to that verse because Sarah is the example for how women are to be in their marriages. And this is why the Most High got mad and um, Solomon, or Simon, whatever his real name was, because he said that he was loving all the people that he told them to stay away from because they would, was going to take him away from him. That was the only thing, that was the problem the Most High had with Solomon. His wives led him to serve all these different strange gods. That's not God at all. So... Solomon became religiously enslaved because of his wives. Now, number three, slavery to the slavery narrative. Oh, let's get reparations. Oh, we, we the people this, we the people that. Listen, it, it would be great if black people was together like that. It really would. Not to be against other people, but to be together within ourselves. But listen. If that's all you think about, if that's all your life's work is about, you enslaved to the slavery native narrative, narrative. I'm, I'm not saying my words right. Because you think that everything you saw on Roots and uh, what's the other movie, North and South and uh, Queen, you think that's how it really was all the way around the board? So you think that those warriors would just give in like that? You a slave to the slavery narrative. You, 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 you focus on that too much. Listen, some black people is going to be flat out enemies, killing each other, sleeping with each other's husbands and wives, getting people fired from jobs, causing people to quit jobs. You can't just call these people your people. It's been many times that I've had white people treat me better than black people. I've had Latinos more loyal to me than black people. So why would I say, okay, well, these are my people? 
when there's people in every group that I like, and there's people in every group that I that didn't like or don't like. So my people is basically the people that, you know, make things better for me, that, that show me respect, show me loyalty. And it's some of that in every race. Don't just try to just box me in with those. Because listen, listen, I'm in my past life, I done tried to be a gangbanger, all this other stuff. It's weird. When I changed, people start acting fun, more funnier to, towards me than when I was back there doing all that garbage. They showed me more. Some of these people showed me more respect back then. So those my people? I don't think so. And it's getting to the point where I practically hate Facebook. Like, I, like, like, yeah, I like some of the people. I knew people that went to school with stuff like that on Facebook. But Facebook is like the epitome of the things that I just can't stand. That's what it's becoming. So I said, I said, oh, all right, I'm not going to go on Facebook for the rest of the year. That's my goal. So slavery to the slavery no, native, narrative. <laughs> uh, number four, slavery to common thought. Your style of dress, your style of talking, the things you consume in your body, everything you do. You trying to be like the masses. You trying to be like the rappers. You trying to be like the celebrity, this person, that person, the athletes. You're a slavery to common thought. And then you walking around calling people lames because they not following you in the masses. What's a lame? Define that to me. What's a lame? Like next time from now on, when I hear that term, I want people to give me a definition of what it means because we are different. We are different. Our bodies different. We got different heights, different weights, different skin tone, different hair, different hairstyles, different dress. So what what determines a lame? Somebody that's not like you? Such arrogance. Such arrogance. You you probably got low self-esteem. You you some of these dudes can't even handle needing a haircut. That's that female stuff, man. I get my hair cut when I'm ready, not when you ready, when I'm ready. So it's slavery to common thought. This is why people can't be happy. Number one, people's of slavery to people's opinion. Number two, slavery to common thought. That's why the Bible said in Revelation 21, 7 and 8, but the fearful, the cowardly, and mention them first as people the most high going to bench press, have his angels press them over their head, and throw them out, like I said in my last video, like Killmonger threw Black Panther over that cliff. That's how the angels going to be taking some of y'all and throwing you over the cliff because you, you, oh, you tried to be like his enemies, his ops. So that's number four, slavery to common thought. Number five is slavery to family. Listen, especially you young guys, if your mother don't know how to treat men, she try to be masculine and, and no man want her. It's still not your job to, to just basically set your life back to help your mother. You want to help your mother, but you got to live your own life too. So if your mother is single because of her own stubbornness and foolishness, you don't stop living. You don't stop taking vacations. You live your life. You don't not get your own woman. You got some guys that ain't never remember. <laughs> and I talk, <laughs> oh man, every time I think about it, that character is funny to me on Key and Pell. I can't remember the character's name, but he was mad and bitter at his mother because he was still living with his mother as an old man. And uh, he basically was blaming everything that he didn't experience in life on his mother. And uh, uh, Pell, he the one that Peel or Pell, whatever is he the one that played the character, and that character is just so funny to me, man. But it's a lot of people that's like that. You slavery to family. Every family gathering, you know you need to work that overtime at work. You at every family gathering. And you wonder why your money is coming up funny. Because, listen, 
Some of you guys need to stop making these babies, especially if you ain't going to take care of them. Slavery to family. You got to run to your brother as an S starter and you got to run to his defense every time. Now you got people shooting at you and not liking you because of your brother or because of your sister. Listen, and, and, and yes, yeah, it's, it's okay to help your relatives, but it's going to come a time where you just not going to be able to. Slavery to family. You trying to get sleep so you can be productive at work. Your brother calling you at three in the morning. And the slave to family, I answer the phone every time. You can't be a slavery to family. Your mother is on drugs and you enable and you won't confront her. Slavery to family. And last one that I have mentioned is slavery to jobs. This, this kind of go hand in hand with number four, common thought. What do people say? Get a job, go to college, get a job, get you a good job, stay on and retire from it. That's foolishness. That's slavery to jobs. You ain't going to be able to come and go as you please. And every, a job ain't for everybody. You're going to have to bridle your tongue. You're going to have all type of stuff going on at the job that you don't agree with and you can't say nothing. Slavery to jobs. This ain't Fred Flintstone. This ain't the Jetsons. This is 2022. People making money from YouTube. They got their own businesses. They selling uh, T-shirts on the corner. I was down in Texas. It was a guy that was selling barbecue dinners, making 2500 a day. Now, what if he was a slave to a job, trying to be a slave, slave to a job? Now, you're going to go through your, your rough points, but still be strong. If you know that jobs ain't for you, you got to be strong. You got to create that thing that's going to get you over the top. But don't be a slave to punching the clock. Especially if you a free thinker, they ain't going to like you at these jobs anyway. You're going to stay in trouble. If the only way a free thinker can make it on a job is just high and by, being shallow, just only talk about sports. Don't let them know nothing that you think or believe. None of your life ideals or philosophy. That's the only way. But that was number six, six types of slavery that are going strong today. I'm going to close this video because a lot of people, if they ain't looking at some chick, they don't really like to watch the videos in full. There's people that will turn your video off as soon as they start watching it because they they just can't sit down and learn and that's why things like 72 percent of americans check to check that's why these things that's why these negative stats exist because people don't listen to people that's gonna make things better for them they only want to look at uh these women on youtube you know you need to start thinking with this head right here. Think with that big head. Y'all, y'all dudes, man, like once I see a dude is a simp type and the, just, just a toe sucking type of dude, I'm like, I don't even be wanting to deal with him. Like, I don't even like want to talk to him too much because all of I, this is what I noticed about people. Highly opinionated people, when you don't agree with them, that's going to become your enemy. So just, y'all, be careful with these jobs. Be careful with these churches. Be careful with this stuff going all across the board. You're not going to escape it in church. As soon as they start finding out that they don't agree with you on this point, that point, they're going to become your enemies. They're going to become your enemies. Just look, That's why highly, highly opinionated people are the enemies to free thinkers. This people walking around thinking they God and don't even know it. They ain't said, I'm God. But they think they God because they think that everything they think and believe you're supposed to follow. You're supposed to follow them. They think everybody want them. Everybody don't want none of us. There's not a person alive that everybody wants. 
Like it's women that if I was single, y'all, oh, ah, oh, this woman, that woman, I'd be like, no, not my type. Look nice, but not my type. But you would say, you would try to argue with me because that's what you like. And hey, your opinion is your opinion. You like what you like. I like what I like. I like foods that you might not like. We got to learn how to accept each other's differences. We got to get rid of this narcissism. Narcissism on YouTube. Narcissism on all these platforms, at, at these jobs. Like, I could really go get a job. I could go become a police officer, corrections. I got delivery experience. I could go work in a kitchen somewhere. I could get plenty jobs, but I just don't want to deal with the things that you have to deal with on jobs, like these six types of slavery. Like, you just, you can't escape it. And if you, you say, well, I'm just going to go to work, come home. They hate you even more when you do that. He think he all that. He think he better than us. He think he better than us. Then they start watching you, trying to critique everything you do on the job. The evilness of these people. Evil. I can get along with anybody. Just don't try to turn me into you. That's the main thing that make it hard to get along with people is when they try to turn me into them. I don't, Cause I don't try to turn nobody into me. Only time you even know anything I think is if we done connected. Like if I think you cool or something, then I might talk to you and joke around with you a whole lot more. But if I don't see you as like an enemy, like you trying to be opposition, you ain't gonna know nothing about me. And, I, and it, I'm not the type that can accept somebody else's difference. One of my b best friends is completely different with politics than I am. We get in debates all the time and we still go places together and call them and we play video games together, everything. Because he know how to disagree. But a lot of these people, they don't even know how to disagree with you. I don't like dude. You like a female. Then people who think they control in this space. Yeah, you 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 know, you want to kind of keep it peaceful and stuff like that, but you don't control this space because of how many subscribers you got. Are you an agent? If you an agent, none of your subscriptions count. They don't count for nothing. That's a scam. Any agent with a lot of subscribers, that is a scam. Especially if certain people's subscriber counts are being purposely uh, uh, hindered. But anyway, this is the truth, man. The channel is no matrix, no giving in to any forms of slavery. No simping. All subjects channel. Thanks for watching.